Well, it's great to see this woman back on the stage, healthy and in one piece, because the accident she had a couple of years ago, Mikaela, was horrific. You had to turn your head away. Broke her arm in two places. One of the breaks, I believe, was when the bar came, I think she dislocated an elbow, which broke the bone as the bar came down. Broke another one, unbelievable. And look at that, fantastic to see her back. Well done. Now, Gail Neo Kachanke, formerly lifted for the Cameroons, but now representing France, as she has done for quite a while. And she is an achiever. What weight was it she, she bust her uh, arm on? Was it 106, 107? 107 in yeah, the so 76. You may be wondering why she's wearing a gum shield. She's probably guilty of grinding her teeth when she's putting the effort in, and you can't be doing that lift on lift, year on year. You know, she deserves a senior title. Runner-up at 75 kilos in 2015, runner-up in 2016 at the same weight, runner-up in 2018 at 75 kilos, runner-up in the Mediterranean Games at 75 kilos in 2018. This might be her day. Oh. Well, I hope I haven't spoken too soon because she has the ability to play a major... Well, Gail lost her life in the sense of that failure at 100 kilos, so she's coming out to try exactly the same weight again. Now, she's currently lying in sixth place. It's not so much the position, it's the fact that she needs these extra four kilos to put herself back in contention because she's got a, a really decent clean and jerk. She's posted 125 as an opener, which is as good as anybody. But she needs this. That is so much better. <laughs> Do you know, I'm so pleased for her. I'm so pleased she's got she's back on the platform. I really am to have a really serious injury. This is just remarkable to see her lifting. Not only that, she's better technically now than she was before the injury. And look how easy that lift was. There is, there's loads more kilos there. It looks like... First half, but obviously the clean and jerk. And now uh, Kachanka on uh, catch-up. So she's coming in on 126. Marushak of Ukraine, she's got 122. So this would reduce the deficit from nine kilos to four kilos if Gail can pick this up first time. Let's hope she can. To five, five kilos. Yeah, four from nine is five. <laughs> Basic maths, David, come on. Yeah, nothing wrong with my maths. You definitely said four. Viewers will confirm. Come on, Ed. Oh, steady on. Yes, very, very good. Yeah, that's what we wanted to see. Just move the arms out to shorten the distance that the bar had to travel out over her head, but... So now it's Ukraine in gold, France in silver, Gurian of Armenia in overall bronze. I'm going to place my bets that she can do this. I think she can make up the deficit. There's a bold statement. Nine kilos in total to make up. She's halfway there. <laughs> Come on, uh, Gail. <laughs> So the riposte here is firstly a Gale who is going to take a five kilo increase. Now this would put her to 231 and also would put her ahead of the Armenian. And then she still would be five kilos down, but she still would have one more attempt. By the way, uh, Liana Gurian. European youth champion at over 81 kilos. Oh. No. Now has the edge.
there's hardly anything there. Okay, so Ukraine have got their third female championship of these Europeans, but now uh, Gail, who's had this horrible run of four major runner-up spots. If she lifts this, she's gonna go into second place yet again. But I want her to do this. Come on. Well, you've got to say it's a it's a very good comeback, isn't it? Because to be runner up uh, in the Europeans in 2015, 2015, 2016, 2018, and now she's the runner up in 2021. I hope her day will come Nobody. when she can get a gold medal. Nobody wants to be the runner-up, but she's coming.